Peace. What's going on? Salam alaikum, Rahman to our brother Kent. Haris Abdul, aka Daniel Lucas. Okay, let me get my little interpretation of you know this thing that's going on, people out there. You know, uh, the statements that Kanye West, you know, kind of pissed everybody off about the comments about slavery, you know, and, you know, that was a choice. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, many, some people out there would look at it as like, look, this is a way, you know what I'm saying, uh, to say things. Okay, you know, they say that it's a choice. I don't think that was much of a choice. I know that wasn't a choice. No, that was not a choice to be in. Nobody chooses to be in bondage or whatnot. Nobody chooses that. Um, you know, it's a way that you say things, okay? It's a way to come across, okay? You know, and, you know, if anything, if you're putting two and two together, you know, what's... We're putting two and two together, you know, to make such a statement under this administration, okay, and the rhetoric under 45, you know, his rhetoric and the way he says things and the way he does things, you know, and the egregious, salacious activities that, you know, is getting... I mean, it's rather blatant. It's out of hand. You know, I couldn't be a friend of somebody like that. Okay. To make a statement about slavery, why you so-called supposed to be a friend to this guy? Okay. To run along with this individual. Okay. And his rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? Everything out there that you may think Maybe the antithesis of, you know, of what this guy is thinking. He's thinking of something that's really dangerous, you know what I'm saying, perverse, you know, and just, you know, just blatant, just the blatant, the blatancy. Somebody out there would think that going, grabbing women by their private areas and, you know, uh... The the, the the supremacists, the white nationalists, you know, thinking these people are fine people, and you're cool with this individual, and yet you make a statement saying slavery is a choice. Okay, now think about, you put two and two together, you know, put two and two together, what does that look like? Okay, to most out there, they think, yo, man, you kind of cool in there, man. No, as a matter of fact, you're not even conical, that's cooning. To say something like that. You know, and be cool with somebody that's down that that's that really don't give a damn about you. Okay. Now, we may say that, well, before he started running, you know, everybody was rocking with Donald Trump. Most characters were. I knew about him a long time ago. I really wasn't too fond of him even back then. Okay. I knew about his father. Okay. So, off the rip. Long time ago, I already knew about this guy. Okay. Now, when an entertainer out there that used to rock with him and all that's none of my business because I don't know these people. Okay. But, you know, his rhetoric and all of that. And making crazy statements like what you made about slavery being a choice, it kind of looks funny. Okay, and also it's important to do your research. Okay, when you say that, you know, it was a choice. You know, and all this time, you know, nobody ain't do nothing, nobody ain't do anything. Character, pick up a book. It was plenty of rebellion. Last I checked was, oh, what, 300 something activities going on? with rebelling, you know, against, you know, a very sick society back then, you know, with the, you know, with, with daggone white supremacy, okay, that's been going on, and people have rebelled against it, check out Louisiana's history, okay, 
Don't just go off of what you learned in daggone high school. Don't just go off of what somebody says. Read. There's plenty of rebellion. Not just Haitian. There was some stuff going on down south. Out there where them people was not having no bondage. Okay? You know, there was a lot of daggone resistance that was going on. But, you know, even with your stronger, and not only, you know, your Harriet Tubman's, your Sojourn Truths, your Dred Scott's, your Marcus Garvey's, and, you know, and several others out there. There's plenty, 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 plenty of people that have rebelled against slavery. Think about the white abolitionists, the black abolitionists, everybody out there that was against that. The Indians, okay, all the indigenous people of the real owners of this land. They wasn't having that. Okay, I'm like, look, you're going to take me, you're going to have to kill me, okay, but you know, I'm not serving nobody, okay, and, you know, that one of, the thing, the thing about people who rebelled, when they were, I don't want to use the term conquered, you know, I don't want to use that term too tough. You know, but those out there that actually led the charge of rebellion, okay, you know, once, you know, uh, the initial stages of taking over and rebelling were set forth, generals were sent down to take over, you know, to try to neutralize the situation, caught people caught the the, the, the the leaders of the charge of the rebellion, tried them, wasn't long, cut their heads off, put them on stakes, hung them, and all of that, and they did it in such a fashion to where they evoked fear and those who did not have that kind of power. Now, you know what I'm saying, even with numbers, okay, you know, and so many have fled from the south to the north. Okay, many have left that that stage. They left the Confederacy and went to the Union. Okay, that going on. You know, those out there who were powerless, or they could not take the heat and stuff to resist, they left were well, left by the wayside. You know, and they didn't have much of a strategy to go against somebody with the arsenal and the supposed mind control to do these things, you know, to, you know, evoke that fear. And they did a whole lot of things to those who did not have power, you know, and so, but yet there was a lot of rebellion, Kanye, whether you see this video or not, whether I meet you, I don't know, okay. But reading is fundamental. You say you don't like to read. Okay? You can't just do that, man. You know, you, you got to watch what you, how you say things. You got to piss the whole bunch of people off, you know, by making stupid statements like that. Okay? Yeah, there was a lot of rebellion. They took the daggone most powerful individuals. It was plenty of the chunkiest strongest, toughest individuals out there were wiped out. And those out there that weren't strong or did not have any kind of strategy, no plans and stuff to go ahead and rise above that and stuff was conquered. And it's all factual. I, I get in a little deep. But you know, I got a train coming and stuff out here in this rail yard and stuff. So I got to keep an eye on it because I would really get deep in, you know, my, my explanation. Sort of where I'm getting at. But, you know, you don't want to say that, you know, somebody was cowardice, you know, to not fight back. Yeah, it was a lot of characters that fought back. Not just Haiti or anybody in the Caribbean that ran them motherfuckers off. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Some people did not have that strategy to go and dag one through the wars, you know, fight back or whatever. They didn't have a plan. So they didn't know how to read. Or this language, or the language that they was using, 
You know what I'm saying? It was by bondage and conquering. And then, you know, again, so, you know, I ruminate a lot of things. I got this habit and stuff. I mean, you try working on the railroad, you know, and you got trains running by. You can be kind of nervous a little bit. But, however, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of rebellion. It was a lot of things that was happening. But they're not going to tell you about it. Okay, you can't just go by just what a high school is telling you. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out there. You got to do your research. A lot of this stuff's been going on for a long time. Okay, a lot of things out there. Even, you know, the facts, another fact, even characters' own people were selling their own brothers and sisters into bondage. Okay, bartered them. Let's take it back to Mansa Musa, richest man that ever walked the face of the earth. Okay, talk about that. You know what I'm saying? The Malian Empire. You know, all, all bit they had slaves in a different light, you know, dipped in gold. You know what I'm saying? Shifted the currency of the world. And so the finances of the world at that time. You know what I'm saying? The, the, when they called the Atlantic Ocean the Big Lake. You know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? The big river. Or what that or for that matter. Something to that matter. You know what I'm saying? Trade. Mm, stuff for servitude. You know, servitude between so many others out there. You know what I'm saying? But Indians rebel. Blacks did rebel. Okay, but they don't talk about it. They ain't gonna talk about actual rebellion. They're not gonna do that. And the strategy the media is using, the strategy the media is using is to just cause this whole rhetoric, this whole rhetoric, to just divide and conquer. This is a big strategy, people. You know what I'm saying? This is a one hell of a strategy. Divide them up. Get these characters to talking. Okay, ostracize one individual out there. You know, that want to stand out. So we're not going to throw Kanye too much under the bus. You know, but he ain't getting away too good. He ain't getting away loose neither. Because at the end of the day, again, it's the way you say things, yay. It's the way you say things. Okay, and again, you know what I'm saying? It could have been a better way to elaborate what you're trying to say. Okay? So long that, okay... Do your research. Yes, there was a lot of people that rebelled. But, you know, the way society set up, the way this education system is set up, they're not going to talk about it. They're not going to let you know about that. I mean, some things out there, I know I might, I'd probably be dead to all the stuff that I, I could tell you. I just don't have that kind of time and stuff, you know, to really sit down and, you know, kick my math. But you, you got some funds. You got a lot of funds. You got enough funds. You can sit down. You can read. You can travel the world. And you can do your research, man, yourself, man, before you make crazy, salacious statements like that, man. Okay? It's not about you being a follower, being in bondage, being told what to... No, you got some money on you. So that time you got off, take you and your kids, go travel the world, go to Timbuktu and... You know what not? Do some research before you go, because you know what I'm saying when you go in some of them places out there, you want to do your research. Whole fact of the matter is, yay, do your research, and that goes for everybody. Do your research, man. There's a lot of things that happen back then. A lot of things out there, society and the way the system set up ain't gonna tell you. Not just by going from kindergarten to twelfth grade. Or some of the things that the college says, because you know, at the end of the day, things and things you learn in college, they learn in grammar school and uh, overseas, and many of them schools. So you spending money, you spending all this money to go to college here, and stuff where overseas and in other places out there, they teach you for free in regular grammar school. And also, you know, the system's crazy. It's all about capitalism. With well, capitalism out there, they're gonna tell you just enough. But they can tell you just enough to where there is some kind of division. Now, and so I'm getting ready to get back to these trains out here. So whether you take this as a grain of salt, 
or whatever. Hopefully, I'm hoping, you know, you guys can elaborate. This is how I talk, you know what I'm saying? So, really sit down, listen to it, like, subscribe, whatnot, okay? I'll be liking some of you characters' comments. I'll be commenting in too, okay? Like, subscribe, share, say whatever. Like, it, bump it, dump it, or write it. I don't care, okay? I just had to put my two cents in. And stuff because, you know, stuff like that, you know, you want to go ahead and, you know, kind of get the get the blood flowing to do research. All right. Peace.